Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can copy your text from a Google Doc or from a Word document and put it into a blogger post without the formatting getting all kinds of messed up. A reader asked me about this a couple of weeks ago, and th so I thought I'd make a little video. So let's say I've written this blog post here in Google Docs, and I do this from time to time. And I want to publish it on a blogger blog. Well, if I go and just paste that in, it might look okay right now, but when I publish it, it's not going to come out the way that I wanted it to. And that's what the reader who sent me the question was asking about. How, how can we fix that? Well, if you go into the HTML view instead of the Compose view, you'll notice that we have all kinds of other information that's kind of thrown in that we copied over from Google Docs without even realizing it. So let's instead just paste in the plain text. Now, if you want to have some spacing in here, you can throw in a little break tag just like that. And now when I go back to Compose View, we'll see there's my text and I can see that this is going to come across the way that I wanted it to. Now, the one thing to keep in mind is that I had a hyperlink. Well, I'm going to have to now replace that link because the link will not come over when I paste into the HTML editor as opposed to the compose view. So the big trick is to switch from the compose view to the HTML view. Now, if you're using a WordPress, WordPress based editor like EduBlogs, it's a very similar solution. So let's go into my EduBlogs account here and I'm going to write a new blog post. When I go to add a new post, what I need to do here is instead of using the visual editor, I'm going to use the text editor. So I'll use the text editor and then I'll copy that text. I'll put it in as plain text. And again, when I need to put in the link, I'll copy that link. And now I'll manually put the link in here. So I'll say, that's where I want my link to go. Just put in that link and there we go. Now I can switch it back to visual mode and we should be okay. So that's how you can copy from your Google Docs or Word Docs into your blog post editor and not have all kinds of odd formatting. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.